Next, I'm going to show you how to build a quiz game kernel in Python. Well, we need to import the library kernel as kernel at first. And another one is uh, from kernel import message box. And I'm going to create a, a class that is going to actually wrap uh, every uh, needed function of the quiz game. And the first thing well is the init and I'm going to uh, have a master and assign it to the self master and uh, this master is going to have a title. The title is uh, whatever you want. I want it to be simple quiz and also we need uh, some question number so we actually uh, can uh, tr make track of uh, the number of questions that has been uh, displayed. Also the score and uh, the list of the questions. Each question is an object with the question text and the options. And options are another list actually as you can see. And we need another function. Let's call it create widgets. And we're going to actually call it inside our class self.create widgets. Okay. Let me copy and paste it right here. Okay. And so I create widgets, uh, what we do is to actually create the uh, graphic part of the game. First is to actually uh, create the self label and assign a uh, kind of label to it. Make sure it is uh, capitalized the label and let me, okay. Kenner should be imported as TK. Okay, it's better now. And a label is actually a function with a couple of arguments. There's going to be specified right here. First is a self.master, uh, which is actually passed into the label. And uh, then the text, which is a self.questions. Uh, okay. And actually, we're going to uh, display the question text. So it should be self dot question number. And uh, what we show is uh, the question attribute, which is a text right here. Okay. Uh, this is actually the label in each page. And then another label should be uh, packed like this. And when we pack it, and actually pass some uh, padding Y to it, okay? Uh, it will be uh, shown on the screen, okay? And then self.var should be equal to tk.stringvar. I'll tell you what it is used for, but uh, let's right now assign it to our var, okay? Uh, we also need a for loop so we can actually display the options because options are a list with a couple of elements, okay, like this. And uh, uh, each iteration will display one uh, option as a radio button. So RB should be equal to TK radio button, and uh, we pass self that uh, the current option to it master text okay option and variable should be equal to self the var it is used right here okay and the value is option okay and uh, don't forget to pack rb otherwise it will not be displayed okay Next step is to call a self dot next button and assign it to tk dot button like this. And pass the master to the button and also the text, which is the actually next is going to take us to the next question. And the command should be self that check answer. Okay, and check answer is actually a function that we're going to implement later. And the next is uh, next button should be packed as well. Okay, 
like this. P day should be 10. All right. Okay. And uh, let's implement check answer right after create widgets. We're done with it. Let me close this and create an, uh, a new definition of function for check answer. Okay. Self should be passed to it. And here what we do is to specify a user answer. And actually we need to render it from self that where dot get and uh, it's actually the option that has been chosen and uh, if user answer was equal to the correct answer but uh, the correct answer should be specified in the question object so uh, we need to actually add a new field of uh, correct answer to our question object like this for example, this question has a correct field and the uh, option is Paris. Okay. If it was equal to the questions object, then it is true. So we need to actually uh, increment the user score by one. Okay, self that score should be incremented. Okay, like this. And uh, question number, uh, if uh, we still had uh, more questions, then we need to update the question. And uh, this is another function that needs to be implemented. Okay. And uh, if uh, we were, uh, actually we ran out of the questions, then uh, we simply should see the results. So we need to call another function called show results. And uh, let's implement these two too. First update question. Let me close this. Okay. A definition of update question. And uh, what we do here is to actually uh, display the next uh, question object. And uh, we need to actually call uh, self.label.config and pass a text to it. The text is self.question and uh, we need actually the text of it so it should be self that question number and uh, after that we have the i think question it's okay yeah the attribute name all right and then we need a for loop to get widgets in master that uh, w info children okay uh, so if uh, let's call is instance function if the widget uh, that has been iterated uh, was an instance of the of a radio button then what we need to do is to actually call uh, destroy a widget and also uh, after the after this for loop we need another for loop uh, for our options okay self that questions and the question okay and we uh, one more time actually we're going to uh, we are creating the radio buttons for the options okay self master text which is option and uh, the variable which is self fair and value and don't forget to pack it okay and that's pretty much it uh, we change the question on the last function to be implemented is show results which is the easiest one actually pass self into it as the argument okay and what show results do is to call show info on message box and what we are going to actually show is the score for example and the number of correct questions uh, out of the whole like this and then call self.master.destroy so you can actually uh, destroy the whole window okay and that's pretty much it so for the class and uh, let's uh, 
add this condition here so if name was equal to main then we will do some action first is to create a root and assign tk dot um, tk okay and then we need to pass root to sample crease so it is actually uh, ram in the program and then root dot main loop okay that's pretty much it <laughs> you can see if you run uh, the program the window pops up next and your score is displayed that's all thanks for watching